iOS 11 Beta 2 has been released. Let's find out what it's all about in this video coming up right now. Let's go. What is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 11 beta 2 has been released. Over here I am currently on iOS 11 beta 1 and is downloading beta 2 but before we go ahead and get into it I do want to show you the storage I do have right here available 93.76 gigabytes to see if we do change in the storage department. Now iOS 11 beta 2 does bring a laundry list of features that are fixed bugs. There is so many things that were fixed but it's kind of behind the scene stuff it's a really technical fix here it's not a lot of stuff that's going to be like feature oriented but there's a few features that it did bring but before we do that i want to go ahead and run a geekbench here on ios 11 beta 1 and then test it when we get into ios 11 beta 2 so i'm gonna go ahead and hit cpu here and i'm gonna run this benchmark and i will be back when this benchmark is done all right guys, so for iOS 11 beta one, you can see I did score 2271 here on single core, 4313 here on multi-core. This is the iPhone 6S Plus, so this score will vary depending, but we're just trying to see if it does improve in iOS 11 beta two. All right guys, so iOS 11 beta two has been downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and install and start this stopwatch right here to see how long it takes and I will be back when it's done. All right, guys, so you can see it took exactly 12 minutes for me to go ahead and update from iOS 11 beta 1 to beta 2. So definitely go put this on charge. Go grab a cup of coffee, do something real quick, read a book, whatever you're going to do, and come back in 12 minutes and you should be updated to iOS 11 beta 2. It actually could go faster depending on your Wi-Fi, though. So as you can see right there, it does say your iPhone has been updated to iOS 11, signifying that we are on a new iOS 11 version. All right, guys, so let's go into the settings and confirm the version number here on this iOS 11 beta 2. So we're going to go into general and we're going to go into about here. And you could see I actually did gain some space. You remember it was 93 point something on the gigabytes did go up to 94.18. We are now on version 15A 5304i here. So definitely a nice thing to see that we did gain some space here. Now let's talk about the feature improvements in iOS 11 beta 2. Okay, so one of the first improvements here in iOS 11 beta 2 is the translucent effect in the notification tray. So you can see now this is a visual facing feature. Before it was just clear. So you're seeing they're bringing a little bit more polish and refinement here to iOS 11. Now most most of the changes in here are going to be behind the scenes that I already mentioned. So there's not a lot of visual facing features, meaning that you can actually see them here, but a lot of them are behind the scenes, like a lot of 32 bit application problems with third party apps have been addressed as well or need to still be fixed in some applications here. So still pretty buggy here. But let's navigate the UI just a little bit here and you can see still a little bit buggy as I scrolled up you've seen the control center just hung there but it is feeling quite smooth here on the scrolling a little bit better than what I've seen in the first beta here so definitely looking pretty solid there let's go ahead and run that Geekbench to see if the score improved all right guys so we do have this iPhone ready to go let's hit CPU and see if the benchmarking did improve here for iOS 11 beta 2. All right, guys, so on iOS 11 beta 2, we did score a 2490 on the single core, 4377 on the multi core. So definitely looks like a slight improvement over beta 1. Another new feature in iOS 11 beta 2 is the do not disturb mode while driving has now been activated. So you can now go ahead and use this on your iPhone. Pretty cool to see that is here. So if you look closely here, you can also see that you can now save things to your files application here in iOS 11 beta 2, which is making that file system a little bit better and more handy here for iOS 11. So in iOS 11 beta 2, the control center also brings access with an app. So now you can enable this so it doesn't, you know, distract you when you're in applications when you go like that and accidentally scrolls up. So you can go ahead and enable that feature now in controls and you can also customize the controls right here from there. So that's a new thing here in iOS 11 beta 2. And also in iOS 11 beta 2 is now the Bluetooth toggle here in the control center now acts just like the Wi-Fi toggle. So it turns on the Bluetooth just like it did on the Wi-Fi. We had a little bit of an issue with that in iOS 11 beta 1. So that has been rectified here. 
iOS 11 beta 2 is Siri in Hindi. So now you have Siri dictation in Hindi, which is gonna be a nice feature for those of you who do use that language here on your iPhone. But other than that, that's pretty much all that iOS 11 brings visually. And a lot of bugs are gonna be worked out in the background as well going forward, but there's still a lot of known issues. But overall, it's feeling pretty smooth. Let me know what you guys wanna see on iOS 11 beta 2 going forward. Do you wanna see a speed test between other smartphones, reviews on other smartphones? drop that down below but i do recommend you go ahead and update to ios 11 beta 2 if you are on the beta 1 edition this is definitely running smoother so far and it feels like a worthy update and you also gain some space and get some features so definitely go ahead and do that if you're on beta 1 anyway nick here helping you to master your technology like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you loved it i will catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace